Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday presented by Delta Media Group, where we think Kevin shouldn't be brought up on any charges. I mean, after all, he was a minor and he was defending his home from would-be burglars, you know, those those wet bandits. So, you know, I think he should get a pass on that. It might be a good idea to get him into some therapy, though, because he was really having a good time. So, today we are going to take a look at Google Sync. Um, what this allows you to do is synchronize your Google contacts with the Delta Net along with your Google Calendar and your Gmail and really makes the Gmail or your Gmail inbox or interface displayable in the Delta Net. So right now this feature is only available to companies that have turned it on at the company level. So that would be any company that has um, had it turned on, they have a G Suite account and have whitelisted our Delta Net Sync app with their domain. So um, to that end, if you are setting this up, your company does have it turned on, you'll be able to sync your account that goes through your company domain. So for example, if Delta had a Google G Suite account or a Google Enterprise account set up at the company level, it would be the at deltagroup.com account that I can sync, that Google account that I can sync, not any or just any at gmail.com account. So <clears throat> if it is turned on, You'll be able to find it by clicking on CRM, or I should say you'll most likely be able to find it by clicking on CRM, and then you'll find a Google tile on your CRM landing page. Now these tiles are customizable at the company level, so you know yours could be positioned in a different place or could be on a different page, but this is where it'll be by default. And then keep in mind that you could type Google up here in the search bar and get to the results that way if the tile is somewhere else. Now if I click on the Google tile, we'll see we have options for contacts, calendar, and Gmail. Once the account is attached, Contacts will allow me to get to my Contact Sync settings. Calendar will show me a calendar with all of my Delta and Google events synced together and allow me to turn that sync on and off. And then Gmail, once that's activated, will show me my Gmail interface, along with the ability to you know, send and receive messages through your Gmail account from this page. So we'll go ahead and click on Contacts and run through the rest of the process. So you can see that on the Contacts page, I haven't authorized an account to connect to my Delta Net account yet. So it says I need to go through that authorized process. So we'll click on authorize my account. And now we choose the account that we want to sync up. So I'm going to choose my Delta Sync test account here. Now it'll, your screen will look similar to this if you have a lot of different Google accounts you're signed into. If not, then you won't have this many accounts here. <laughs> and you may just have the one. And if you're already signed into it, you won't even have to sign in. You'll just select it from the list. Now. Because I chose an at gmail.com account, just for demonstration purposes, it takes me to this app isn't verified error, basically. Um, now what you'll be doing is syncing an account through your company domain, so it won't take you to this page, it'll take you straight to the next step. So let me go ahead and bypass this to get to the next step. And this is where it shows me all of the permissions that I have to grant to the Delta Net Sync app in order for it to be able to sync my contacts, uh, put my Gmail interface in the Delta Net, and sync all my calendar stuff. So we'll just look over those permissions, and as long as everything looks good, click on Allow. And it'll take just a moment, and then that's all there is to it. Now that is connected, or that Google account is connected to my Delta Net account. So to go through my settings, we'll go ahead back to the same place. So I'm going to go to CRM, and then down here and click on Google. And then let's start off with Contacts. So if I click on Contacts, the first thing it'll have me do is actually activate Google Contacts. So we're going to click on Activate, give it a moment, and then we can see it loads up all of the groups that I have in my Google, Google account. So what it's going to do is these are actually labels in my Google account, but it's going to equate these to groups on the Delta side. So to set this up depends on, or how I set this up rather, depends on which contacts I want to sync. So if this is just a business account and that's all I use it for and all the contacts are business related contacts that I would want to have in my Delta Net. I'll just select all Google contacts. You can see that selects the other ones automatically, so it'll bring over those group associations. And that's all there is to it. Now, if I were syncing an account that I also used for some personal stuff, if I had some personal contacts in there, as long as I have all of my business contacts segmented into a group, I could tell it just to sync that group. So what I would do, so we'll just uncheck all of these, I would check just business contacts. That way, only those that are in that business contacts group will sync, and it goes that way on both sides. So if I just have this box checked and I hit activate, it's going to take every contact I have in that business contacts group on the Google side. 
and it will put them in a group that it creates on the Delta side that will be called Google Business Contacts. Then, the only contacts that will sync from the Delta side are those that I put into this Business Contacts group. So if I get a new customer, only if I add them to that Google Business Contacts group will they sync over to Google. Now I can get around that, and I could say set Business Contacts as the default Google group. So what that would mean is, Every time a customer comes into my Delta Net, whether they're in a group or not, or regardless of what group they're in, or I put them in, it'll sync them over to the Google side and put them in the business contacts group in my Google account. And then, because the sync process will keep everything lined up, they'll automatically also be placed in the Google business contacts side on the Delta side, or the Google business contacts group on the Delta side. So basically what this does is it says, Whenever a new customer is added, automatically put them in this group so that they'll sync up with Google. I mean, that's really kind of the, the long and short of it. Um, so that allows you to only sync some of your contacts from the Google side, but ensure that all of the contacts that come into the DeltaNet side are automatically synced over to Google. So that is how I would set that up. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go with everybody because, because why not? <laughs> there we go. So all Google Contacts, and then once I have this set up the way I want, I'll just click on Activate Google Contact Sync, and there you go. So from here, I can go back to this page and I can change up these settings if I want. So if I did want to unsync some of these groups, I could do that. Um, or if I wanted to set a different default group, you know, I can come back here and change this later, or just deactivate this altogether. So that would also be done from this page. You can see we have a Deactivate Google Contacts button down here. So that is how you would set this up. Um, so now let's go back to CRM and we'll take a look at the other Google Sync functionality. So I'm going to go down here and click on Google and let's go to Calendar this time. Now we can see I haven't activated it before so I'm going to say activate Google Calendar. There we go. Now we'll go back. It's a little weird that it shows me that but <laughs> now we're back so we have the Google Calendar turned on and I'm going to enable Calendar Sync. So now Calendar Sync is enabled. Any event that I put into my DeltaNet calendar should automatically show up on my Google calendar and vice versa. Any tasks or calendar events I create on the Google side should automatically show up on this calendar and overall in my calendar in the DeltaNet. And then I can also click on Manage Calendar and I can get to um, the ability to create my calendar events right from that page. So I don't have to go to a separate events page. I can just handle those events from that calendar and then the system will sync them out. So now we'll go ahead and go back to CRM and Google and now we have our Gmail. So we'll click on that one. Again, I haven't activated this one before, so we're going to activate Google Gmail. And it takes a moment to process this because there's a lot of data that has to move back and forth with the whole Gmail sync. And then once everything loads up, you can see we have a Gmail interface for our Google account right here in the Delta Net. So as we look down through this list, I mean, this is exactly what I would expect an email client to be. <laughs> so we have our inbox over here on the right. We have all of our different email labels over here. So any labels or folders that we have set up on the Google side should come over automatically. We can create new labels from here. I can hit compose and compose new messages. I can read my messages from here. So we'll go ahead and look at my security alert because why not? <laughs> There we go, and it loads that up. I can reply forward, so I have all of my email functionality here. Um, and really, it's it's designed as a convenience piece. The whole idea is that I can get to all of my Google-related or my Gmail email stuff here, um, or my Google account-related email, since technically it is not a Gmail account. But I can get to all that here, so I don't have to have that open another tab or go to another place to get to that email. I can get to all of it through the Delta Net. So there you have it. Beyond that, it works just like any other email interface. Now, just like the other pages, we also have our deactivate button here. So if I wanted to deactivate the Gmail display in here, I would just click this button to deactivate it. And there you have it. That is Google Sync and the Google Sync functionality, how you can get that set up and the kinds of things that it syncs over. Um, now also, I'll add that these, the interface here for email is something that is only available to you. So even if an admin were to be into any part of your account, they can't access your email. That's only visible to you. So there you go. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to give us a call or send an email into support at deltagroup.com and we will help you out with whatever you need. And I will see you again next week. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.